Le programme suivant sera en anglais. Welcome brothers and sisters to a new program, Eco from Tuba. We live here from uh, Dakar in uh, West Africa. Uh, behind us, that's the local of Lamfal TV. We're having a guest today, Shaheed Tawheed, coming us from Alabama, Bir Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, that's our guest, our host today. He's a murid living in America. We're going to talk to him uh, right now. He's going to tell us uh, how he lives his muridism in America and then how he found how he find Africa and Tuba because he was here for the Magal. Uh, so let's not uh, lose any time right now. Let's go, inshallah, meet our guest, Shaheed Tawheed, for Eco from Tuba. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Brother Shaheed, Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. Welcome to Africa. Welcome, welcome to Senegal. Thank you. Uh, we're having a show today, as I told you, uh, our guest Shaheed from uh, Alabama, Birmingham. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Tuba. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you for having me. All this, right. this is home. This is home, absolutely. You just came from uh, the Magal. Yes. How was the Magal? That was the first time for you? It's my third time, and the Magal is beautiful every right. year. Right, right, right. A lot, lot of blessings. How was Tuba? You met the people, you saw the mosque, you saw... Tuba, Tuba one of the best places in the world, man. Absolutely, I, absolutely. I, you know, it's, absolutely. I, I'm going to try to come every year if possible. Inshallah, inshallah. So your first time in, uh, in, in Senegal, in Tuba, how did you met uh, Serene Tuba? I met Serene Tuba uh, through several ways, through right. his books, have a walk, yeah. through his dreams, mm. through, through a dream of mine, right. uh, and just through his work, through mm. his kasaid, mm. uh, even just looking at his picture, right. it, spoke, it spoke to my soul. Just by looking at the picture? Just by looking at his Masha picture. Allah, Masha. Because of the light that comes out from Noor, Allah, Noor, Masha everywhere. Allah, Masha Secrets. Allah. My Everywhere. Father. Yeah, what was it? How did you met him? How, how, what was the first time you heard the first, him? The first time I heard about Sheikh Ahmed Bumbo was like in 1999, 2000, when I first became Muslim. Right. There was a poem that he wrote. Mm. Uh, the poem that he wrote against the French. Right. Say if you if you if you think that I'm gathering up weapons, my weapons right. is Quran like, and, and the Sunnah and, 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 and the Dikr of Allah. Right. right. That was the first time I heard about him. Right. And then from there, my knowledge of him grew. Mm. And then <clears throat> around 2000. In eight, I was working on an album, mm. and I chose Serene Tuba as the album cover. Mm. And the album was Health, Wealth, Knowledge, and Self. You're in the hip-hop business, by the way, a yes. rapper. What's the name of your group? Shahid and DJ Supreme. How is the group he's doing right now? He's doing, he's making, you, doing you guys making good. money? We're making money, we're touring the world, we're seeing new things, Mashallah. making new music. Right, right. So how you met him, you said about the uh, the album you made with so this I picture? So I put Serene Tuba as the album cover. Right, right. And when I did that, a lot of things opened up for me. Mm. People, people started coming. Who is this guy on the cover? Mm. Um, people from Senegal I meet. They're mm. like, "Oh, you know who Sheikh Ahmed Dubamba is?" I mm. say, "Yes, we we read his books." Right. And then ever since then, from that point, right. everything opens up. Mm. I start meeting people in his family. Mm. Uh, people started coming from Senegal. Mm. And everything just became a, a beautiful experience. And then right. I had a dream. Serene Tuba comes to me in a dream mm. and says, get your passport and come to Tuba. But there's something, there's, in, the, in the story, there's something, there's something you didn't tell me. You, yes. You, you got married to So uh, I got married to, right, to, right. to an African sister in Ethiopia. Right. And it didn't work. Mm, why and it didn't I, work? Because her family did not approve. And so because of that, approved because of uh, because I wasn't Ethiopian. differences or? Yeah, I wasn't Ethiopian. Right, I wasn't right, from right, her right, tribe. Right. right. So they didn't like it. So because of that, uh, everything didn't work. Mm. And I was down about it. Mm. And then Serene Tuba mm. comes to me in a dream the next night and says, mm. don't worry, get your, get your passport, come to Tuba. La ilaha illallah. So when that happens, I said, mm. 
I called one of my I'm teachers. Some help. Divine yeah, help. I, right. I, said, I said, hey, I just. Who was your teacher back then? Back then, my teacher, Sheikh Farah Gay. Sheikh Farah from uh, Sheikh Abdullah Gay's yes. order circle, I mean. Yes. That's good. You're a very good man. And so from there, mm. opens up even more. Right. I go, I go to New York. I meet some of the Murids in mm. New York and mm. some of his family. Mm. And then, boom, one day I just say, you know what? I'm going to Tuba. Right. I, I told my job, I said, listen, mm. I need two weeks off. Mm. I got to go to Africa. Mm. And they, they approved the what, time. What year was that the first time you came to Senegal? I came in 2014. 2014, right, right. And since Seems then, like you've been coming every year then. I've been coming the last three years. Mm, mashallah, mashallah. And then when you came to Tuba the first time, how did you, how, the first encounter with the people, how did that work? I mean, uh, which per people you saw first? The first the encounter first family and stuff, right? was great because mm. I was new mm. and they knew that I was new. Right. So they made it very comfortable for me. Everybody I met, some leniency. Said American, American, right. and, <laughs> and then and then they took me. The first person I met coming to Senegal from Paris right. was Sheikh Ahmed Bamba's granddaughter, Sheikh uh, Su Sheikh Sunna Sunna Mbake. Sunna Mbake. Sunna Mbake. Right, uh, right. She's the daughter of Sheikh Shaibu. By the way, salam alaikum. Salam salam. Right. And mm -hmm. she comes, and uh, my Sheikh introduced me. And he said, you're going to go Senegal. into... Yeah, in Paris. In Paris. You and he said, you're going to come to Senegal with her. Right. So he said, this is how you know your trip is going to be accepted. Right. Because the Mbaki family is accepting you. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And then from there, mm. she invites me to her house. Mm. I, meet, I meet her brother, mm. Serene Falu mm. Mbaki. Mm. And, and, and everything, ever since I come, I come meet her. Right. I come meet Serene Falu. Mm. I go do my ziyara. And and every, every I go see the same people every year because right. these are the people who welcome me first. Right, 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 right. So uh, for having this trip for three years now, what Srin Tuwa means to you as an American from Alabama? What Srin Tuwa means to you? Srin Tuwa means the world to me. Out, out, outside of Quran and the Prophet, Mashallah. and Ahmed Bayt, Srin Tuwa is right there. Absolutely. Right after that. Right. And the reason being is because was a black man. Mm. He's someone I can look at right. as an example. Right, right. Not that it matters. You can look at anyone right. as long as they're righteous. Every but person needs an example to look but for. But because he's black, right. because he went through the tarbiyah, mm. I went through, my life is tarbiyah itself. Right. Um, I don't know my original parents. I was adopted. Right. So when I meet some Inshallah. of the Shiyuk mm. and I tell them the story, mm. they said, this is why Allah put you with Sareen Tuba. Right, right, right. You have a purpose. Right, right, right. This is your Sheikh. This is your guide. Right, right, right. So that's what he means to me. Right. I can look at his life, mm. the struggle, mm. the victory that he got from pleasing Allah. And get some inspiration and from And get that. inspiration to keep living right. and to keep going. Right, right, right. So every year I come here, it, re it refreshes me mm. to want to do more. Mm -hmm. To want to help the people, to help his people, right, right, to help the young kids, right. This this is what it does for me. It helps mm. me want to go back to America, mm. to, right, and, and, right. and and the fact that that place, a lot of our people mm. left going to come to America, right, right, right here, right, right, same place, absolutely. We're gonna go, we're gonna go back to uh, America, to Alabama. Mm -hmm. Is it Muridism or Sri Tuba known over there in your area where you live at? He's known, but it's 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 not popular. Mm. He's known, but he's not popular, mm. and that's where we have a lot of work to do. Right. Uh, myself, we have to we have to do a lot of work in explaining mm. to, our, especially our people, right. that this is a guide mm. in Islam that you can come through, mm. because a lot of people don't think that you can follow African. Mm. They don't think that you can follow African scholars. They don't think we have African scholars. Right. And it's like, bro, we have African scholars at, a, at the highest, the highest level. level. Right, right, right. The highest level. Right, right. Because uh, I think on there, most of what they look up to is most of a, of a material, material, uh, you know, outcome or something or, but spirituality is totally different. It's something your, 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 your soul needs in order to move to, to move forward and and I think in America I think uh, this is someone uh, really uh, they need in those neighborhoods so do you have circles there or other states have that you know of have circles that are really uh, working on propagating the work of Sheikh Al-Khadim other other states have bigger circles you have Atlanta mm. New York right. Washington right uh, the uh, these are the places that have 
the biggest circles. Right. Um, we're trying to work on that, like I said, in Alabama, Birmingham specifically. Mm. We want to try to get a Sheikh Ahmed Bamba house mm. so we can, so people can learn Quran and Qasai right. and come for tarbiyah, mm. come for training. Right. Because, like you said, in the inner cities, our youth need the training. Absolutely, they need to say Yeah. You know, we mm. we have to get the training. We need to break our egos. Mm. We need to understand that we live for Allah and His Prophet, mm. and that's it. Mm. You know, this life is work, mm. and the work here mm. to get the best from the next. Absolutely, absolutely. So we we have to start. I, you know, we have to do a better job and mm. making it a, a bigger reality for our people. Absolutely. You in, in, into rap music. I mean, yes. still connecting with the inner city and stuff. So, how, what's your lyrics about? It's about spirituality or? Yes, uh, it's lyrics. Yeah. Lyrical spirituals is what I like to call it. Right. Um, in the art of hip hop, mm -hmm. you have to be lyrical. Right. And also, you have to you have to bring something of substance. Mm. And so that's where the spiritual part comes in. Mm. We we have to introduce people mm. to things that they don't know about. That's mm. why. I'm putting Sheikh Kadim on the cover. Mm. I want people to see that cover and say, "Who is this guy?" Right. Who, man, this looks beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of a dial. Are you doing? It's dial and it's art because right. when you look at the Sheikh's face, right, he's art. Right, he's, in, he's course, beautiful. His face is shining. Best art ever. Yes, you're right. You're you know, right. He, you you know his 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 jalabia looks mm. very nice, mm. clean, absolutely white. Mm. The turban around his mouth. Mm. All of the secrets beautiful are in face. the picture. Absolutely. People have been asking you, "Who's that person on that album?" Yes, everyone comes to me and say who is this person some people even say is that you I said no it's not me <laughs> because a lot of times when I dress I dress this way oh, you do you used to so a lot of times the album did they, you, you, the album was one of my one of the best works I've ever absolutely, done absolutely and it, and it opened doors and door and door mm. even in that album mm. my DJ mm. he wasn't Muslim at the time when we were working on the album right. he became Muslim no, you know, you know, so Allah, this is how you know the art Mm. It's working and it can work. Mm. Can you give a little history of your group? How you did from Jump Start to Jump right Start? now? Right. I've been I've been writing music since I was eight years old. Mm. And so from eight years old up until 16, 17, mm. I made a name for myself on the Birmingham hip hop scene. Mm. I met my DJ when I was around 18 and 19. Right. And then we had a group. And then I took some years off. Mm. 2006, I come back. I did a Scholar Warrior album, mm. and then the Health, Wealth, Knowledge, Yourself album with Serene Tuba on the cover. Right. And then after that, we did the Scholar Warrior remix album. Mm. And then from that, my DJ and I, Supreme, mm. we became the group Shaheed and DJ Supreme. Right. Right. MC, the rapper and DJ mm. combo. Mm. We want to bring that back mm. to the art as well. Mm. And so now. Mm. Our biggest album, Knowledge, Rhythm, and Understanding, mm. which has a world release, mm. has done it's good for us. It's right now? It's already been out it's for been three out. years. All right, all right. Now we're working on a new album called The Art of Throwing Darts. Mm. Is it your work known in Senegal by the artists, the groups in, in, in you know, because in terms of rap, there's mm -hmm. a lot of groups in Dakar. I don't know if you heard of heard of it or not. But yes, Senegal, there's, there's a, a lot of hip hop scene in, 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 in Senegal. Dakar. So uh, do you have any connection with, with those groups? Uh, with the groups? What, some of the people have reached out to me. Mm. That's one of the reasons why I'm coming, keep coming to bridge the gap so we can start working together and mm. do concerts right. in Dakar and, and then have the proceeds and the money mm. go toward a good cause right because if we can come together mm. raise money mm. we can make it a better place mm. bring people together through unity right and build something good right right mashallah uh city because uh like in america we, we we used to big cities you know right. uh nice high rises you know that's how they define cities in in in, in america in, in senegal like a spiritual city we don't define uh exactly cities uh you know uh like like they do over there right so for you the first time i mean third time seeing tuba what is it what is it you think is is makes the attraction of tuba what is it beside beside the mask of selling tuba what is it what is it you think we should do in tuba to make it maybe more attractive or uh, what is your suggestion the, on, on the only thing i think we need to do mm. is is just get it get the name out because so many surrounding cities mm. around Tuba. Right. Like Dar es Salaam. Dar es Mashallah. Not a lot of villages. Right, 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 right. You know, so it's there. Right. And and what we what we understand what we need to understand is mm. in America mm. is that a lot of our cities mm. come from the cities here. Right. 
because the slaves who were taken here, they, were they had knowledge. Absolutely. So we built America. Absolutely. This Absolutely. is a fact. Right, right, right. And so with some of that, we built this architecture, we brought it with us. Mm -hmm. So the only thing we need to do is bridge the gap right. to let people know in America, hey, what's here in America mm. comes from Africa. Right. Even from Egypt. And to take advantage of and that. And to take advantage of it. We're right. builders. Right, right, right. Right. I think this is beautiful. I mean, uh, not forgetting your, like you went to Gore Island, coming also embracing the culture and the philosophy, I mean, the religion of, uh, of Tuba really will help you uh, go forward in, 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 in better uh, perspective. And also, do you met the Caliph already or you haven't? I have not met Sidi Mukhtar. Sidi Mukhtar. Sidi Mukhtar. I want to meet him. Long life to Sheikh Sidi Mukhtar. May Allah bless him and give him long life and me. Inshallah. And uh, also, uh, Tuba, have you, you acquainted to uh, uh, the works of Srin Tuba? His, his uh, many writings. I went to the library. Dar al-Kamil. Dar al-Kamil. Listen, when I saw the work with my physical eyes, right. I've always heard about it. Right. But when you see it, right. Did you know he's the one who wrote the most in the history, in the of, history humanity? of humanity? Did you know that? Yes. Right, right, right. Seven tons. Seven tons. That's what they found. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Some stuff like, very. Lot of people, lot of people make mistakes on that, thinking that it's seven times he's writing memory. But no, that's what they found in the found. compound. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Some stuff buried under the. Um, under, 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 he wrote some other for some people and give. Uh, there's, a, there's, this, there's this thing, uh, a French guy I, I saw on television who said, you know why he used to throw all some books in, in the sea? He said, it's, it's on YouTube. He said, because of the, some fish going to eat that writings, and then whoever eats it outside of Africa, Senegal, will eventually become murid. That was the idea of Serin Tuba, that's what he said. But anyhow, are you acquainted to any, any, any books of Serin Tuba from, uh, you know, his Hasidus? Yes, I have, I have. Which one, for instance? My favorite one, Matlu Shifa. Ah, you're a singer, you're going to sing me something of Matlu Shifa, please. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to. I'm done with Mundili, then I will die. One Mundili Shifa, you are the way. Man, I will be by the Bidwai, Leah the Faubi, and Il Balai. The reason I don't want to see Man, I saw the Marat, Yabla Bila, but in the father, Bill Harat, Mohammed, Tabi, Binal Hakimi. That's one of these beautiful sort of writings he did. Can you, can, can, anything you can, you can you, no. try it, maybe something. No, no, no. I want to hear from a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do it together. One of the one of my other favorites right. is uh, with, with it's the little kid singing the casita. Where it goes, um, oh, Sayyidina Muhammad, right. Wa Ali, um, Sayyidina Muhammad, Wa Ali, Ya Rabbana, Salli. Tafatul Mutadarin. That's what it is. That's another yes. one. That's, that's a little kid who sings it very nicely. Yes. Right. That's 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 many books. There's this Madlubul Shifa, Madlubul Fawzain, there's Mawahi Gunafi. Sindidi. Sindidi. Yallahu bil Mustafa. Sindidi Allah. Are you planning to sing those songs in your in your in your work or something? I'm I'm learning to to, to do this. Right. This is one of the other reasons. Mm. Um, I have a good friend of mine, Serene Basiru. Right. He studied in the in the Dara. Mm. He's teaching me. Yes. He's teaching me. Mm. So this is one of the other reasons why I don't want to sing it yet because I don't want to mess up <laughs> something. So yeah, it's Arabic is very complicated. Yes. And then you don't want to. You're right. You're right. You're right. And also, I think it's a good idea getting uh, some of the, the the works on on throughout that type of medium will help a lot of people understand yes. eventually the work of of of, of Shah Ahmed Bamba Khadim Rasul. Uh, but also he's is, is right now uh, you being in Africa what is it your perspective you in the future what is your plans over when you go back to to Alabama to do for uh, Sheikh Al-Khadim more work mm -hmm. number one more dawah right and in the future my plan is to move here I want to I want to buy a house in Tuba I want to buy some land build a house and then live here eight months and then go to America for a little bit of work. Right. Come back. And live in Tuba. And live in Tuba. MashaAllah. Oh, I, like I, I want to May be Allah, married. May Allah accompany you. I mean, MashaAllah. I mean. MashaAllah. Wow. That's, 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 that's really touching. For me, mm. Medina and Mecca are, are my fa are favorite places. Mm. But after that, Tuba. Absolutely. All right. right. And, and, and so, like I said, the connection 
إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات توبى لهم وحسن المحاب. Those who do the صالح the good thing will eventually live into. You see, توبى like a tree. Yes. And then, and the, and then it's like a, you know, copy from uh, paradise. Yes. The branches, the cities inside paradise. You have the big tree, and then you had. Uh, Darul Manan, yes. Darul Salam, Salam, Darul Khudus. I hope uh, this ideology of Sri Tuba, this philosophy, uh, will be understood, understood throughout the world. We're having uh, guests like uh, Shaheed Tawheed coming uh, from Alabama, America, visiting and then finding and propagating the uh, the work of Sheikh Ahmed Obama will really help uh, the community on that particular perspective. And then coming back to that, uh, you come from America right now, mm -hmm. and, and you know he's a powerful, he occupies a powerful place in the world right, right now and uh, uh, Donald Trump is uh, president elect in America what is your feeling about that situation my feeling about it is this his rhetoric is terrible mm. the way he talks right it's not good right but I'm hoping he's just saying that to please the people with money okay I hope he does something different mm. because if he doesn't do something different we all in trouble there. Right, right, right. And that's one of the reasons why I say I want to get my house in Tuba. <laughs> because, because, because if he if he if he says some of the things he's going to do, right, then like having the Muslim registry. Yes, we need to be out. We us in 2015. Can you believe this uh, rhetoric like that? Come on, that? man. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, sad. it's, sad. it's, it's sad. crazy. It's sad. But like I said, mm. we, that's why we our people need to learn mm. that we need to come back home. Mm. You know, home, home. Right. We built that's home because we built it. Mm. But this is home because this is where we yeah, come from. Right, right, right. So, so we need to we need to get here mm. and buy some land mm. and and bring our families I, here I and live. I mean, people have a lot of respect for countries like China or other big cities because they, I mean, twenty years ago, China didn't have no money. Right. But they, I mean, the, I mean, the foreigners, I mean, uh, the ex, I mean, uh, uh, the diaspora of China helped build China. Exactly. And China right now is well respected because they well have respected. they have money they have you know they respect this is about it, you have to go for development yes and think Africa right now can be helped by its own people its yes. diaspora from around the world understanding that you know it's the need for everybody, everybody has to uh, has something to gain on Africa uh, getting 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 forward and also uh, right now I mean uh, coming to uh, back to Senegal as well uh, are you planning to uh, do some work with the artist right now in Senegal. Yes, my plan is to, like I said, try to keep coming here, right. building mm. with people that I meet, right. building with some of the artists. Mm. I think the fact that they can speak multiple languages right, right. is better than right. even even myself mm. because they can do different things. Mm. They can speak a different language, so it's more attractive. Right. So so and then having the African spirit in right. it. Right. So that's definitely in, we want to do that in the future. Mm. You 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 you've done some tours, right, yes. around uh, some countries for yes. music, musical reason. Which countries you went to? We visit? went to the uh, UK, right, and we've toured Germany, mm. the Luxembourg, mm. um, and a few cities in America. But those are the countries that we you, that we you, you went. But so besides Tuba in Africa, in Senegal, what other cities uh, you visited? Like you said, Dar es Salaam right now. You went to Parakan, where Mam Jara. Oh, that's uh, where the, my friend is from. Um, we went very short. It right. was not long. Right. Uh, the other place we went to Jordabel. In Jordabel, right. Yeah, Where the place lived for 15 years. Yes, you visited the house that in Jordabel. Yes. Beautiful. They beautiful. let me inside of the house. Mm, inshallah. I was, like was, I said. It was huge. It was That's huge. the only place he stayed for 15 just straight years though. Yes. That's where he passed away as well. Yes. Which other city you visited? Um, that's it. That That's was it. Right. Yeah, right, right. That was nice. That was nice. How come that that story about uh, the presence of Muslims in early America is not counted in the in, in history of over there? Well, a lot of people don't like to count it because it 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 brings the truth out that Muslims are indigenous to America. Mm. We are what it we are really what it means to be true the true first American. Right. We were there. We contributed to the culture. We we built it. Mm. And. I, the, the relics are there. Mm. The Qurans are being found, mm. written. Mm. Uh, uh, thick books are being found, mm. have been found there. Mm. So this history is known mm. amongst people who know, but they don't want the masses of the people to know. Right, right. Because it, it, shows, the, it shows that most of the people who come here, mm. who came to America, were Muslim. Right, right. 
Like, because I heard there was a, there's these people that used to come from the river, like Futa mm -hmm. area, and other we were already Muslim communities, yeah. and they stopped bringing those people because they were teaching Islam to yes. to, to to other communities. Yes. So, uh, how, by the way, uh, the teaching that Islam or the, and the teaching and, and of of Sheikh Al Khadim is related to uh, to Black America? Well, what we can, what Black Amer what people in America who are Black can learn from Sareen Tuba mm. is that you can take something negative mm. and make it positive make Inshallah. it make it tarbiya all the trials he went and everything and, that you go and through and he pardoned them yes and he pardoned them afterwards right right for Allah's sake yes. that's what he said I forgot the people I forgive them because we, by the blessing of Allah will help yes. me during those yes. trials exactly yeah and so a lot of times during these trials mm. is when we become our strongest right when we, when we, like one of my teachers, Sheikh Farah Gay, said you need the fertilizer to keep growing. Do, right. The trials are the fertilizer. Absolutely. And this is what we need. It, it, so what we can learn from Sareen Tuba mm. is no matter how difficult the situation is, mm. you, you keep your trust in Allah Ta'ala, well, okay. you come out mm. being the best. You right. come out being better than you were before you went in the trial. Absolutely. And that's what, and that's, that's what we can learn from this. Mm. No matter how bad the situation is, it was a bad situation. Right. We were tortured, some of us were raped, mm. uh, lost our names, mm. our, our culture, freedom, our parents. Yeah. So there's therapy mm. and healing that we need from mm. that. Right, right. But knowing knowing that, it's never, never too late to get it. But isn't it, isn't it some misinformation? Because sometimes when you show Africa and show like your place, like you call this home, and which is truly your home, I don't see some positive pictures coming out of Africa. They show, they show right. mostly wars, negative, like there's no peace. And sometimes, I, I was in Europe, they used to ask you some questions. You guys still live in trees? Right, you right. Guys, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what's funny? People right. ask me that when I, when I go back to America. Right. Which is one of the reasons why I post the pictures mm. on Facebook and right. on my media that I post. Right, right. Because I want people to see. <laughs> right. This is more beautiful right. in Africa than it is in some places in America. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So people get ha have this thing because when you tell people, oh, Africa, they they, they come in for monkeys, they climb in for trees, that makes people not want to come back here. Right, right. When you say, oh, all they do is fight and war, right. that makes people not want to come here. Right, right. But when you see the difference, mm. well, that's why I post the pictures. Mm. I want people to see, no, this is home. Right. This is beautiful. Mm. This is clean. Mm. I want people to understand that. Mm. Don't listen to everything people and, tell and also, you. And by the way, like the Sheikh, exactly. who made this huge uh, circle in order, and Tarekha, and many others who lived in Africa, they lived here, they made what they made without having buildings, without having even clean water, without having everything you call material right. stuff, and they made it. So I think what's important is having building first, you, the human. Yes. Uh, personality and then you build then the you institution build, yeah absolutely you and build the human up right. then the human who's built right. can build the right institution right right so what do you think you should do to change that you know uh, line of misinformation coming uh, from well, africa what is it uh well what i'm gonna what i'm gonna keep doing is your lyrics love. right i'm gonna keep coming here and i'm gonna keep showing the people right i'm gonna keep saying look this is why i keep going back Mm. When I go back, I'm going to take pictures of the beautiful places mm. and I'm going to show people mm. this is this is art here. Right. Everything that we see in America, most of it comes from Africa. Right, right. Most of right. and if not all, most right, of right, it. Right, right, right. And so people need to know that. Mm. We need, this is this is home for us. Mm. Once we see it as home mm. and we don't make a separation. Right. Cuz another thing people say, well how do they treat you when you go to Africa? Right. Do they treat you like your brother? Right. I said everybody I met <laughs> treats me like their brother. Right, absolutely. I was like because we are brothers. Right. We are the same people. Mm. We come from here. Mm. Only thing is mm. we just was cut off. Absolutely. That's it. That's mm. the only difference. Right. It's got, we got to link it again. And then when I come here, mm. I see people in America mm. who look just like people here. Right, right. Same face, right, right. same yeah, nose, yeah. forehead. Right, right. We, we all look the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just different. Right, right. So how's the community there, I mean, the American, black American in particular, doing with the African community? Are they, they intermingling well or are there some problems? So, some people feel like Africans don't accept us. Some people feel this way. Mm. Uh, then you have some groups that they only want to go to one place in Africa. They want to go just to Egypt. Mm. So the thing is, is that 
we have to bridge the gap and make this like it's not just Egypt, Egypt that, that the that ancient exists. Egypt that exists. Right, right. You know, a lot of places we have Sudan. Mm. You have you have Tuba. You have Dakar. Right. You have Saint Louis. Right. Um, I mean, so many, many places. Other places. Timbuktu. Mali, Mali. Timbuktu. Right, right. You know, Ghana, mm. Gambia. Mm. So many places here mm. that we need to be connected to. Mm. That we can learn. And, and, and take I back. Mean, how, how to do to educate the people over there? Is it to get into the system in, to, in terms of the educational system by, by bringing books, having having a, a, a books. lobby that helps, you know? We need uh, books, we right. need art. Right. We need. We even need the cafe tuba. We, oh, okay. We need. We need the whole thing. Right, we need right. people to understand. The cafe tuba is well known right now in America, right? In some, in some places, places, yes. In some places, in, some some places. Some, in Ohio, some yes. uh, businesses build up uh, yes. on top of the uh, the, the cafe tuba. Yes. And how? Uh, uh, since since we're still talking about America, how the uh, Mika, the more Islamic community of America, is doing over there? When I went to visit New York, mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're very, that's a very beautiful community. It is. They they have membership. Uh, Mm. where everyone who is a part of the community mm. has a membership there. You show your card mm. and you're a member throughout the whole world. Mm. Wherever there's a wooden house, right. you can show this card mm. and show that you're a part of the community. Mm. Um, the spirit there, mm. the way the people, it's just like you feel like you're in Tuba almost. Right, right, right. Because they bring the in, they brought Tuba the to, uh, to New York. Right, right. And that's how so it has to be. You in Tuba over there, the house of yes, St. Tuba. Yes, yes. MashaAllah. You know, I, I remember... Kadam Buso is the Kadim imam. Buso, the imam over yes. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I remember we used to have the house, they used to have the house in Brooklyn mm -hmm. with the uh, help of Sidi Mustafa. By the way, Assalamu Alaikum Sidi Mustafa. Wa alaikum salam. And then uh, the house was a little small and then there was people around complaining about the noise and stuff right. and then that's how they bought the other uh, building right. the new one there, there was his renovation program during Dinkins David Dink and by the way Sheikh Murtada prayed for David Dinkins uh, to become mayor he was the first black mayor wow he's the one who had the 28th of July the Sheikh Ahmed Bamba day Allah because since Murtada prayed for him back then to uh, to become to become mayor and they had this Harlem renovation program all they had they tore down all the old buildings and then the price all of a sudden went cheap and Sheikh Murtala came into America with 15 million back then. If you convert that to the money, actual money, it's going to be fifty thousand uh, dollars to start, uh, you know, uh, the construction of that. I mean, the buying and the construct process of of, of that Allah. building. May Allah bless his soul. I mean, Allah. I mean, he did a lot for. Uh, he used to preside that 28. Uh, parade and uh, all these things work in, 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 in America. Alhamdulillah, he did well. So, uh, is Mika present in Alabama? No, there's not one in Alabama. Um, like I said, we, we need to, in Alabama, we have to do more work. Mm. We have to get a we have to get a daughter in Birmingham, right. especially. Right. Um, because Birmingham is one of the biggest cities in in Alabama. Right. So that's one of the things we're working toward is trying to get a, mm. a daughter there. Mm. And, um, you know, and make it open for all the people. Right. So besides uh, Muridism, which is part of a Islam status, how would the Islamic community is doing in America? Because I know there's an Islamic community uh, presided by, uh, uh, is it Sheikh Hamza Yusuf or another one? Ha Hamza Yusuf has, a, he, he does have a uh, institution uh, there. Right? There's Medina Institute in Atlanta, Georgia. Right. Uh, with Sheikh Mohammed Nilawi Ibn, Ibn Yahya Nilawi. Uh, he's one of my teachers and sheikhs. Um, what basically, what he's doing there is building the traditional Islamic system. You go there for a year, and you get a three year program in one year. You get Arabic, you get right. Quran. In Zaytun. No, no, not in Zaytun, at Medina Institute. In Medina Institute. You get Quran. Where's it, where's it in it's in Atlanta. In Atlanta, right. And he's building institutions all over the world. Right. They have one now in South Africa, mm. one in Sudan, right. one in India. Right. So what you get is three years right. of traditional Islam program in mm. one year. Whoa. So you have to be serious. Absolutely. So you have to, you learn Quran, right. Arabic, mm. Akita Tahawiyah. Mm -hmm. You learn the books of, um, Imam Hanafi, mm. uh, Imam Shafi, right. Imam Andrew. Malik, right. and, and you learn the Hadith, uh, the Hadith school of Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal, right. and you learn the spiritual sciences of the soul, Whoa. and Dikr in one year. That's hard training. Yes, right. one year. Right. So you have to be committed. Right, absolutely. If you're not committed, right. then you know... Is it a free school or you got to pay for it? It's, you, know, you have to pay for it, but he has sponsors mm. for people who are really serious. Right, right, right. So some people help sponsor the students mm. 
mm. and you stay in Atlanta for one year, mm. you live in a, you share so an apartment. Is it, is it Mika going to that perspective in terms of a, investing in education? Because I think that's the way they are going that they way. They are going that way. They're with the youth, right, with the right, youth. Right, right, right. Because we need it. You have, you have to go that way. Absolutely. We have to, we have to get somebody mm. to maintain mm. these sciences mm. for the next generation, mm. and the younger kids mm. are the key. Mm. Because the younger, mm. the better. Absolutely. We keep it alive. Right, right, right. I see a lot of, lot of, you know, people from America also sending their children to learn, to learn Quran in, in the, you know, the basic Quranic yes. teaching. Yes, and that's the, in Tuba. They're sending them to Tuba mm -hmm. and Kolak as well. And the Medina Kolak. Mm -hmm. And this is why it's important. Mm -hmm. Because Quran here is very serious. Mm -hmm. It's very serious. Right, right. It's one of the reasons I like Tuba, mm. because everywhere is a Quran school. Absolutely. And in the library of, of Kadim, Quran is everywhere. It is a city. There's more people who memorize the Quran than many other cities in the world. Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Shaheed, anything else you want to add up to uh, the conversation? Because uh, I think our time is getting over. And uh, like I said, else? right. Thank Lam Paul. Thank you for having me. Right. Thanks a lot. Uh, like I said, this is Senegal is home for right, me. Right. Right. Look us up, Shaheed and DJ Supreme. Right. We hope to do big things in the future here, inshallah, in Senegal. Mashallah. And like I said, um, Jada Jeff Sadeen Tuba. And also, your brothers who were watching over there in Alabama and Birmingham, they should yes. think, I think they should come and visit Tuba. They have to. Visit the opportunity that is in Africa, in yes. Senegal. Yes. And knowing who Shia Ahmed Bambi is, because our community needs it. He's the one who wrote, who wrote much more than anybody in the history of, of humanity. So he's someone to be known. So thanks, Shahid, for coming and visiting. Yes. And then give us an opportunity to talk to you. Thank you, it's been really a pleasure to meet you, Shahid. Thank Thanks you, my brother. Appreciate it. Allah bless you. Alaykum. 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 Alright. So, uh, so, Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Uh, we were talking to Mr. Shahid uh, Tawheed from uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Once again, right here visiting in in Dakar. He went to uh, Tuba to visit uh, our city. We had the Magal, 18th of Safar. We just celebrated just a week ago. So many for foreigners came in uh, to uh, visit the city uh, right here in, in, in Tuba. That's the reason why we had our guest here. And also, before we finish up, we want to thank the Caliph of the Order, Sheikh Sidi Mokhtar, Salim Basiru, for the beautiful uh, talk he had uh, during the end of this particular uh, Safar time, he did gave out a lot of advices and then uh, asked the people to just keep on the straight path, to do the right thing, uh, to stay firm in Islam, to stay firm in the Muridia, and also help the Sheikh uh, finish the many works he's doing, like the mosque in Dakar, Mazalikul Jinan, and also finish off the mosque in Tuba and the University of Sheikh Ahmadu Bamba. So, really, thanks to Sheikh Bas and uh, also to the wonderful Magal that was started from uh, Safar first, right here in Dakar. There was many celebrations just for the sake of giving grace to Allah, for the sake of loving Sheikh Ahmadu Bamba, who was one of a kind for our community, for us. What he did for uh, humankind, what he did representing very well uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, also giving thanks to my Sheikh, Sheikh Murtada Ibn Sheikh Abdul Ahad, my Sheikh and friend, uh, Serin uh, uh, Sheikh Mbake, uh, living right there in, 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 in in Dakar and all my friends and and uh, viewers watching from Dakar, Senegal, Tuba and abroad. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jalla Jeff to Serin Tuba. Jalla Lucky Mam Shahir Rahim Afal. Le programme suivant sera en anglais.